We're out here on Coquina Avenue in Davis Shores where tons of people have been out checking on neighbors and cleaning up. That's especially the case for these guys here who say they may actually have to rebuild because so much water got into their home. Kenneth Thrower and Ashley Taylor moved into this house in April. Within 20, 30 minutes, it was rising like inches. Outside, Kenneth says the water was chest deep. He and Ashley made door dams, which held, but that's not how the water got in. Their walls began to bleed. I started coming up through the foundation, so the cracks in the wall was just bleeding water, and so there was like the tile was bubbling, you know. So we probably had between 18 inches and two feet inside the lower part of the house. Furniture and valuables on cinder blocks and his record collection saved. Their pool is brown and Kenneth points out salt water is corrosive. He says they'll have to take out a wall and get the foundation checked. It filled up pretty quickly within about an hour. Um, you know, and the street looked like a river, so the water was flowing like so there was, yeah, there was no holding it back. First Coast News was in this area and watched Davis Shores flood quickly Thursday. Kenneth calls it all surreal. I am a Florida native though, so, you know, I'm used to storms, but this is far beyond anything I've ever been through. And right next door to them, these guys have gone through three hurricanes now, and there's a lot to clean up. Renata Di Gregorio in St. Augustine, First Coast News on your side.